Hey, this is Julie, and I am um, looking at the trading um, opportunities for today. And the market this morning for the morning session was Nat Gas. We had mixed markets most across the board, except for the ES was bullish, the YM was bullish, and the NQ was bullish. Um, your grains were bullish, uh, wheat, soybeans, but Nat Gas, my gosh. Bullish, 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 bullish. That was the market that I should have been trading this morning. And here is what it looks like on my, um, that was my trend on my higher time frame trend. So once I get my trend down, I come down to my 15 minute and five minute chart and look for momentum. On the left chart, I have a blend. I have a 60, 15 and five minute momentum blended on my chart. So I really want to see this momentum working at the same time my five minute momentum is working. So um, when I see on my eight o'clock breakout run and my momentum was printing, I should have been over here buying every time the momentum band turned green on my five minute. That's your entry point. And to time this, and just bear with me one second, just because you get a momentum change does not mean that you're not going to see a, a retracement. Price can come back and retrace, you know, 50 cents or something, but you're still in up momentum. So as long as the momentum stays in your favor, you've got your higher time frame trend, you've got your 60-15-5 blend, as long as this five minute momentum stays in your favor, sit these out, these retracements out. And what that looks like on your lower time frame was right here. This is what these were those um, momentum turn positive, but we got these retracements into that momentum trying to shake traders out. And um, you can enter either at a KD cross or I like the, the D crossing the 20. And if your D won't cross the 20, you can take a KD cross for the for the next leg up, or you can simply catch these parabolic SARs. As soon as price breaks those, you can get in there too or add on. Um, here's another SAR cross. Get in and add on. So you don't really want to get out until you get a momentum band change on your five minute and then you can sit the rest of that deeper retracement out um, so you see these inflections on the momentum uh, oscillator when that starts going the opposite way that's where you want to sit out and you don't want to get back in until you see that inflection come back up on your oscillator and start rolling around and getting you back into the position. So this is an early indication here. I've got my momentum going back in my direction before my average cross got the band. So I could have gotten in a little bit sooner. On a five minute chart, you wanna get in on top of that candle, on the top of the close rather, not necessarily the high, but the close. And get back in the market for your next leg, next leg up. So um, we're in another retracement here. I don't know how far this will go. I have not taken the daily chart to analyze um, Nat Gas to see a potential range for this market. So I'm not prepared to talk about um, possible um, uh, locations. So, um, but as far as my system is concerned, that's how you trade this trend higher time frame trend and lower time frame momentum. Thank you so much. If you would like these indicators, come to my website and buy it here. It's $50 or come down here for the training and I can help you set it up and get you all fixed up. Thank you so much.